Hello, my Capricorn friends, and welcome to Indigo Goddess 1111. My name is Indigo, and I am going to bring you your January 2018 Twin Flame reading. Um, I'm going to pull one card from the Romance Angels deck by Dorian Virtue, and that will kind of give us an idea of where we're at in the journey. So Spirit and Angels, all right, that was quick. Unrequited Love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So I will now pull five cards for the Divine Feminine and five cards for the Divine Masculine. The first four cards will represent the first four weeks in January. The fifth card will be the um, overall energy for each one. So Spirit and Angels, can I get five cards for our Divine Feminine? That one wanted to fly out. The first one is the King of Pentacles. Can I get four more cards for the Divine Feminine, please, Spirit? The Ten of Swords in Reverse. The Ten of Wands. The Ten of Pentacles. And the Ace of Wands. I'm going to move these down just a little. one up there. Okay. Okay, can I get five cards now for the Divine Masculine? Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of January 2018, Spirit. Can I get four more cards now? Okay, so the first one out was a Three of Wands. The second one out was a Hierophant. The third one was a Queen of Swords. Can I get two more cards for it? Okay, and then we have the Sun in Reverse and the Five of Cups in Reverse. So, okay, the bottom of the deck energy is the Two of Swords. So it's it's come to be decision time, Capricorns. Um, I am going to pull two cards now, one for the Divine Feminine and one for the Divine Masculine. On ooh, um, For each one of uh, their energies and where they are at individually in the spiritual path. So Spirit, can I get a card for the Divine Masculine and a card for the Divine Feminine, please? And this is uh, Helpers of the Hidden Realm by Colette Baron reed Beautiful deck. Okay, the Divine Feminine got the Winged Wise ones. And now one for the Divine Masculine, please. Okay. High high, the High Lady of Love and Compassion. So, and I will get a clarifying card for each of the 10 on the ground here, and then I will channel my messages direct from Spirit. Okay, Spirit Angels, can I get a clarifying card for each of the 10 cards on the table for the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine? Clarifying card for the Three of Wands in Reverse. Whoa. Okay. I'm going to keep the Ace of Swords and put the rest back. Oh my, I got the deck all mixed up here. Okay. This one is out. This one is out. Okay, the bottom of the deck card 
for the clarifying deck is the Four of Wands. So um, there's a decision to be made, which we've seen in the in the original deck, involving the the um, relationship, the happy home, happy or not, you know the the Four of Wands, the twin flame connection, the commitment. Okay, we are at 531. If anybody wants to timestamp that, I might actually remember to do that as well. Sometimes I'm not that good at it, at remembering that. So, okay, the first week of January, the Divine Feminine has the King of Pentacles being clarified by the moon in reverse. So, Capricorn, this could be you. Um, it's a male energy, so if you are the Capricorn male, um, you have been keeping some secrets from your Divine Feminine. Um, there has been some deceit, um, could be with a Pisces, but doesn't have to be. I'm just getting more so that the Divine Feminine has been lied to. Um, may have had some things hidden from her um, as far as karmic relationships go. Um, people that you're involved in. Um, I'm getting for a certain group of you, the male Divine Masculine is telling the Divine Feminine that Things are over within their um, relationship with their karmic partners, and they're not. And they're telling their karmic partners that there's nothing going on with the Divine Feminine. The Divine Masculine has the Three of Wands, clarified by the Ace of Swords in reverse. So um, things aren't going to be moving. Things aren't going to be coming in anytime soon because you're confused. You're not choosing a clear path. You're not um, getting rid of your karmic partner or your divine feminine, I see at this point, um, because you're confused. You're not sure what exactly it is that you want. You know that there's a connection between this divine feminine and you, but you're having a hard time leaving your karmic partner because you're scared. You're fearful of what people will think, what people will say, and now fearful of the Divine Feminine rejecting you. In the second week of January, the Divine Feminine has the Ten of Swords being clarified by the Six of Pentacles in reverse. So the good thing about this Divine Feminine is you it can't get any worse than this. The Ten of Swords is at its worst point, the breaking point. It's about to be over and new beginnings will um, start, but you have been um, you have been backstabbed. You have there's been deceit, lies, rumors started about you. Um, just really, you're really feeling betrayed, and it has to do with your divine masculine still in a karmic relationship and it being out of balance. You have been the one putting into this relationship and not getting anything back out of it. Um, and it goes to that unrequited love. Um, and you're feeling like there's not much more you can take. There's not much more you can give. You have given it your all. You have given everything that you have to possibly give and they're not giving anything back in return and that is making you feel betrayed the divine masculine has a hair front could be dealing with a taurus does not have to be um with a general reading i really don't like to name out signs but um divine masculine in the second week you you are having a hard time um, putting aside your traditional thoughts, your traditional values. And it's more so I'm getting of your families. Like you are worried to leave this marriage that you are in because of what your family will think, what your friends will think. Um, 
but you need to leave this relationship um, because you're not you're not putting anything into it is what I'm hearing from spirit. You are you're just there because you're worried about what people will say, what people will think. You're fearful. Same as with this energy, like um, it's carrying over into week two. You you know that this isn't for you anymore, but you don't know how to leave it and leave it the least unscathed. The Divine Feminine has another 10 on, on the table. Um, the third week of January, you have the Ten of Wands. You are carrying the burden of this relationship. You have so much weight on your shoulders. Um, you are dealing with all the backlash of being the other woman. Um, you're dealing with the stress of trying to keep this relationship going. Um, and just the burden of, of feeling like you're doing this alone. It's being clarified by the devil in reverse. So what I'm getting for that is you're going to start only relying on yourself for your emotional happiness. I feel like you've put in a lot of stake into this connection with the divine masculine and you feel like, like all you're getting is betrayed and a bunch of response or a bunch of weight on your shoulders and you're the only one carrying it. Um, also with temptations, you are not going to be as tempted to contact your divine masculine as you have been in the past, just because you're feeling so hurt in the third week of January for the Divine Masculine, um, you have the Queen of Swords. So you are dealing with somebody that is kind of cutthroat. Um, and this is somebody from your past, somebody that you've been with for a long time, somebody that you have children with. Um, and that is that is why you are worried about leaving for um Yeah, you're worried that the backlash is going to come to you and your children. That this um, energy that you're dealing with in a karmic way is going to hurt, um, cut you where it hurts most, is what I'm hearing. In the fourth week of January, the Divine Feminine has yet again a ten. A ten of pentacles um, in reverse, and it's being clarified by the two of pentacles in reverse. So you are starting to doubt whether you're going to get this happy um, Ten of Pentacles life. You know, the the wonderful job, the happy family, the beautiful home. Because you, for one, are out of balance. You feel like you are being pulled in two different directions. Um, you are tired of being juggled around and only made time for when... They can sneak you in. Um, it's affecting every area of your life, your work. You can't concentrate at your job. Um, at home, you are letting things go by the wayside because you're so distracted and so out of balance by what you thought you were going to have. You thought it would be here by now. You have been in this journey for a long time, and you feel like you're not receiving the love that you deserve as well as the promises that you were promised in the beginning of this. Now you have the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Wands, and the Ten of Pentacles all here. So the good thing for you, Divine Feminine, is, as we know, after Tens, Tens are Ones, Ones are New Beginnings. So um, there is a good point to all these Tens, but you're having a rough month. Divine Feminine Capricorns, you are really, you're going to feel like you are pushed to your breaking point and you don't know how much more you can take. The uh, fourth week of January for 
the Divine Masculine is the Sun, and it's being clarified by the Seven of Wands in reverse. So you're starting to realize that even with the Sun in reverse, I I see it the same way because um, there is no downside to having the Sun. Um, but you're going to start to realize that your world revolves around your Divine Feminine, and you don't even know it yet. Um, you, there isn't a day that goes by that you can't stop thinking about her. Um, when you think about her, no matter what, it brings a smile to your face. It warms your heart. Um, so you're going to start to bring that defensive wall that you have built up around you down. You are going to start to let that sun shine in that you've been trying so hard to tell yourself wasn't there. You've been trying to deny this connection because you're scared of going against the grain. You're scared of leaving this karmic partner and what your family and friends are going to think and having to deal with her when she's angry. You've been denying this connection with your divine feminine so you wouldn't have to deal with that. But you're starting to realize now that the divine feminine is ready to walk out of your life. Because she has all these burdens to carry, all the weight of the this relationship on her shoulders and hers alone. Now that you realize she's ready to walk, you're starting to realize what it is that she means to you. The overall energy for the div, uh, Divine Feminine for the month of January is Ace of Wands in reverse. So, like I said, with all these 10s on the ground, you have to have a, <laughs> a new beginning somewhere um it's in reverse though and spirit is saying that you the fire the passion that you once fought for every day um to keep this connection to do whatever you had to do to get this person to be the only one in your life to be in union with this person is no longer what it once was because you're finding out he still has a karmic partner. You're finding out that he really is still with her. Um, he's been cheating on both of you um, and sneaking around with both of you. And so it's really going to make you question whether you want a new, a new beginning, a fresh start, a clean slate, a passionate union with this, Divine Masculine. And the Divine Masculine, his overall energy of the month is the Five of Cups in reverse. And it's being clarified by the, the Eight of Swords in reverse. <coughs> Excuse me. So he, the Divine Masculine has been just kind of secluding himself from everybody because he is having a hard time dealing with the fact that he let one relationship fail. He's letting his family down um, by breaking traditional values, by getting divorced. Um, he He's really just been kind of having a pity party. Sorry, Divine Masculine, but, um, but he's going to come out of this shortly. He is in a state of depression right now, and he's feeling stuck, feeling trapped, he feels like he can't move emotionally, like in his mind, he feels stuck. He feels like he has nowhere to go physically. Like he just doesn't know which way to turn. And so he's been like in this state of depression. But like I said, he's going to start moving. Um, he's going to start realizing what the divine feminine means to him. And that wall is going to start coming down. And once that wall starts coming down and he lets the warmth of the twin flame um, union warm his soul, warm his heart, he's going to realize that he's not stuck. He's not trapped. And he's going to get out of this pity party phase. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, and Spirit, Spirit's saying that this card has a double meaning. The unrequited love, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going, is for the divine masculine who's still with their karmic partner. 
you know that this is not the relationship for you because there's there's not the chemistry that you feel with this karmic partner as what you feel with your divine feminine. It's also saying to the divine masculine that if you don't start showing your divine feminine what it is that you mean to her or what she means to you and st start helping her carry these burdens that are being placed on her, that she's willing to walk away. She is to that point where she's about had enough and um, she's going to do what she has to do to make herself happy again. So, Spirit Angels, is there any other messages that you have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus in the month of January 2018? Any messages that you have for them in their journey or what they will be going through this month in January 2018? Okay. Judgment. So, Divine Masculine, whether you're ready to make this choice, of ending this karmic relationship or not, judgment is here. The choice is going to be made whether you're ready for it or not. And the hanging man also just flew out. So maybe it's time to um, start really seriously thinking about how you're going to move forward. So this three of wands can come out of the reverse position. Um, and offer some clarity to your Divine Feminine because you really have her left in the dark. And way too many cards. And um, she's not going to stick around forever. I hate to say that, but not, not right now anyways. And um, so it's time to make some big changes, Capricorn. Some big changes. Or Divine Masculine. Hmm. Um, we got the Six of Swords here and Temperance, so both coming in reverse. So you need to find balance. You need to find, um, and Temperance is such a beautiful card. You could be dealing with Sagittarius once again. That does not necessarily have to be that, but it's the marrying of two souls, the intertwining of two souls becoming one and coming together to do their soul purpose. And Spirit is saying the Divine Feminine more than likely is not going anywhere um, with it in reverse like this. But she is going to cut herself off emotionally to stop the hurt. It's getting The hurt is getting so intense. And the Knight of Pentacles. So I do see you by the end of January, Capricorn, um, making an offer. Um, something tangible, something real to your divine feminine. And the eight of cups in reverse, but you're still not moving for you're not moving forward and spirit wise, uh, Capricorn not moving forward in their journey this month. Okay, on the ground comes the Seven of Swords and the Lovers. So somebody still has other people, and they're not making a choice, um, a choice between lovers. They are going to try to keep sneaking around and um, and trying to get away with it. I'm going to pull a clarifying card. What is the uh, Seven of Swords here for Spirit? Yeah, look at that. Two of Cups. Can I get a clarifying card for the Lovers as well? Why is the Lovers here in the Capricorn's Twin Flame reading? And the Ace of Cups. So Capricorn, I don't know how much clearer we can make this. For you, Divine Masculine. Whoever has a Divine Masculine energy, could be male or female, in that karmic relationship, look at what you're holding off on. Look at what you're chancing losing. Because... You're sneaking around with two lovers. This is what's at stake. So Spirit is saying it's time to put your head down and get to work. Because 
it's time to start over, start fresh, start new, have a new beginning with your soulmate, your twin flame, your ace of cups that's here waiting. Any other clarifying cards you want on the table, spirit? Yep, the hanging man just was flipped in the deck. I think that was the only one. It's time to take a step back. End these karmic relationships. Take the time to heal, to become enlightened, to allow your the person that is meant to be yours for eternity. Let your twin flame come in. But you have to end these relationships. And there's the sun again. Allow this twin to warm your soul, to warm your heart, um, to be a part of your life, to wake up every morning with you and go to bed with you every night, to, to grow, to grow with this person. Um, just a pure, just a pure relationship. Any other clarifying cards? Spirit says this is the last one. And it's time to move. It's time to move on. It's time to move on to this, um, to this soulmate, to this Ace of Cups. You know, what, these new beginnings, the sun, all these clarifying cards are just absolutely beautiful. So it's time to put those karmic partners, um, let them go. They do not have enough love or chemistry to even compare to what you will have with your twin flame. Um, face your fear. There is no fear is nothing. Fear is fear itself. There's nothing, nothing to fear because this is divinely guided and fear, fear does not exist. It's just something in your head to hold you back. Um, as far as our um, wisdom of the Hidden Realms cards, for the Divine Feminine, we had the um, Winged Wise Ones. And <clears throat> the Winged Wise Men represent wise, bleh, can't talk, the Winged Wise Ones. Um, represent the help of all the angels. Um, it's just encouraging you to keep praying, to have faith, because um, every, par every prayer that you send up, just know that they will be answered according to the will of the divine. Um, it also represents divine intervention, and um, the, the angels, they heal and transform miracles. Um, the angels are here to help you. They're going to step in and, um, and make miracles happen. The High Lady of Love and Compassion, it's the first one of the deck. And that's what came out for our Divine Masculine. And... I'm actually going to look that one up. It says reverence, kindness, and consideration. Um, she's bringing you a deep and meaningful message, divine masculine. She reminds you that only love is real. It is a soul, unconditional and true power that is behind all means of manifestation out of the unseen into the material. Love's greatest creative power is ignited by the conscious action of compassion generosity and of the heart, reverence, respect, and empathy for all living things bring you profound power to live a life of happiness and contentment. She also reminds you that when she chooses to be your ally, she brings you evidence that you are loved. All manner of synchronicities align in your favor. So, um, it's really asking you to think of the other person and what and inquire what it is that is in their highest good. Um, give selflessly without asking what is in it for you. And just know that 
she's here to help you along the way, Divine Masculine. She's here to help you move past where you're at right now and, and in the path that you are meant to be. And for the feminine, it's just saying that they are here to help you. I am going to pull a quick um, oracle card, the chakra oracle card, so we can know what to focus on this week. Spirit and angels, what do the divine, I haven't started yet, divine masculine and feminine, Capricorn, sun, moon, rising, and Venus, what do they need to work on for this week? All right, gratitude. So for this month, January 2018, um, the divine masculine and feminine Capricorns need to work on gratitude. So um, gratitude raises our vibration to a higher level. If you're unhappy in your relationships, um, it's always in your power to change it. So it's time to leave. Divine Masculine. I don't know how many more times to say it. If you are in a karmic relationship, this could be for Divine Feminine too, but my spirit guides are telling me it's for the Divine Masculine. Um, it's in your power to change it. There's no mystery to being a good person. Good persons, just good people do good things. And, um, and it's time to do the right thing. So for the meditation for this, it says for the next 10 days, spend a few minutes each day making a gratitude list. Do not look at the previous day's list when you begin each day. At the end of 10 days, read the list. Notice what keeps coming up and who is on your list. So um, this is just really wanting you to slow down for a minute and really realize and recognize and... Um, Realize and recognize who you are the most grateful for, what you're the most grateful for, and and make sure you're thanking the universe for having them in your life. And that's what Spirit wants you to um, focus on for the month of January. And then at the end of those 10 days, then just start over and do that for the month of January. So Capricorn, I hope you enjoyed your twin flame message. Um, I hope that this gave you a little bit of clarity on what your next step in the journey needs to be. Um, Divine Feminine, I am um, requested to encourage you to keep the faith and hold on. Don't give up. Um, walking away is the easy thing, but holding on and having faith and keep working on yourself is... Um, the hard thing to do, but it is what will be the, it is what will be well rewarded in the end. So, um, just keep meditating, um, stay grounded, keep the faith and just keep working on yourself. Divine masculine. Um, your message is to do what it is that needs to be done. You know, you know what the right thing to do and you also know what it is that you want in the long run. So be taking steps in that direction to make sure that that is what you get. So um, that is the message I have for Capricorn for January 2018. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Um, remember to just be grateful for everything that we have. Give universe thanks every day for our many, many blessings. And with that, I'm sending you all love and light, and I hope you have a beautiful January 2018. God bless.